if you go to places like Amazon and look at their firearms accessories, there is a plethora of inexpensive stuff out there, bottom tier stuff, and lights are no exception. This light right here, uh, you have probably seen this design before. This is kind of a generic design that's branded under a lot of different brands, but it's kind of a generic design made in China. I've seen it. It's been around for years and years, and there's a mixed opinion on them. But uh, these lights are like typically 20, 30, maybe 40 bucks for the basic setup like you see here. So kind of what I want to talk about is are these lights even worth spending the lunch money on? And I have to say yes and no, and it depends on the situation you're in. So again, this light, uh, it's really common. You see them a lot on Amazon and whatnot. They're kind of all over the place. This one is branded Defense Tech, but they're, there's a lot of different companies that had them, and they're very basic lights. There's really not much to them. They can slide on and off real easily. And they can fit a wide variety of pistols, although this one kind of is a little bit loose, but it still fits decent. But anyway, very basic setup. So um, this one is a 300 lumen model, and it does have a strobe on it. And again, uh, the big question is, would you even want to waste your money on it? Would you want to take your lunch money and throw it, in, and throw it at this light and use it as a home defense light or whatnot? Well, if you're in a situation where budget is a big thing, then yes, it will work. Um, I have no problems using this on this handgun right here. It kind of fits with this handgun because this is a Taurus G3. It's a $250 gun. So I figure why not throw a $30 light on it? Um, and I've had this light for a long time, so I figured, well, might as well throw it on there. Uh, Home defense doesn't necessarily mean heavy use. It's actually pretty light use, depending on what you're doing. If all you have is a handgun like this, sitting in a nightstand, and you want to throw a light with it, and the only time it ever gets used is if you go out to the range for practice, or if you actually have to use it in a, in a, you know, to protect your home and self and all that good stuff, um, then it might work fine for you. If you're going to take it out in a duty type status whether it's military law enforcement or if you're going to go heavy on the airsoft fields and and go nuts and and do all kinds of stuff where you're going to be bumping it around and all kinds of hard use i would probably recommend something different also if your budget can allow definitely get something different this is about 30 dollars. if you can save another 70 dollars or so then you definitely can get something better now with that said um if you find something like this, it's perfectly fine to get it, throw it on your handgun, and then save money over time. While you have something you can use, save money over time so you can get something better. There's nothing wrong with that either. Um, you just have to look at what you're going to use it for and you know what your environment is, what your budget is, and all that good stuff. One thing to note, if you're going to have these type of lights, these are bottom tier type stuff. You might get one that works just great. You might get one that is horrible and breaks on the first round fired. It just depends. The QC is all over the place with these type of products. So um, if you have one, get it out to a range, put some rounds through it, make sure it works, make sure it won't fly off your handgun, all that good stuff. Um, and then you can kind of trust it at least a little bit for what you need it for. The... Um, the draw to these products is the affordability, and, and it, it, it's the same not just for lights, but to everything else, especially the rifle market with all the aftermarket stuff. Lights, lasers, rails, all that good stuff, and some of the stuff is actually pretty good. Um, and there's nothing wrong with getting it, but you just have to really do your due diligence on it and realize what you're getting and, and expect the best and the worst uh, if you're getting this type of stuff. This particular light, uh, the battery is a rechargeable battery. I have a little charger, so I just keep up with the charge. It has a regular and strobe function. So there's regular and there's strobe. Kind of cool. Kind of neat. Um, the method of activation seems to be pretty decent. I can index this finger out here, turn it on, and then use my support hand to turn it off. Same with the strobe. It just kind of... Um, bumps back and forth between constant on and strobe. 
not a bad little light. I mean, it's not a tight fit on here. But for basic self-defense work, I would not hesitate because I've had this light for a while and I, I know it works decent and, and does what needs to be done. It's a 300 lumen light. And I also trust this pistol. I would not hesitate moving forward on the middle of the night in my house with this setup. I wouldn't hesitate at all. I'd, I'd go right to it. But um, you have to be able to trust your own gear. And, it, you know, again, these lights are kind of a finicky thing. Uh, if you're going to get these type of lights, I would stay away from the weird light and laser combos that they have and all this stuff. I, I'm not a super big laser fan myself. Some people are. I'm not a big fan of it. Um, even in low light situation, you can look down the sights of your gun even with no light on the gun and still index on a fairly uh, reasonably close target. At least a target in a self, the typical self-defense situation distance, 7 yards, 10 yards, what have you. Uh, you don't really need a laser, and I think a laser will slow some people down. Uh, but anyway, stay away from all the weird stuff. If you're going to get one of these types of lights, I would say just get the basic, the very basic setup here. It's a very straightforward setup. Uh, no frills. And I'll kind of show you the battery here. It has one of those cheap rechargeable batteries and I have a little uh, battery charger that um, this battery slides into and I can just keep it charged so I don't have to worry about buying new batteries. It has a little rubber o-ring to give it a little bit of waterproofness, spring-loaded retention, very basic. And it goes on, just slides on, push this down. There you go, it's on. Keep it very simple and then use what you got until you can afford better. So in any case, um, feel free to put your thoughts in. I uh, I just wanted to talk about this just because there's there's tons of these lights out there. There's off brands. There's all kinds of stuff. And and I there are some that work. This one particular one works, but there are some that are exactly like this that don't work. Again, I really have to stress QC is all over the place. So you really have to make sure you test your light and make sure it works. And that goes with the more expensive stuff too. Even if you get an expensive Surefire or something like that, test it. Make sure it works. Make sure you didn't get a dud. Um, as far as, uh, you know, what brand to get, from what I've seen, the quality seems to be about the same across the board. I mean, a lot of this is it's the same light. It probably comes out of the same factory or same set of factories in China, and then it just goes to different, I guess, companies, and they throw their brand name on. Again, this is branded defense tech, but I could probably look online and find all kinds of lights that aren't even branded, or I can find different lights that are exactly the same, but they're branded under a totally different name. And that's just common. You see that a lot on Amazon and stuff like that. In the lower tier market, you'll see all these airsoft accessories and gun accessories. It's the same rail or same sights or lights or what have you, but they're just under multiple different brands. It's just one of those things. It probably all comes from the same damn factory in China. So keep that in mind, whether or not you're getting a light right here that's made on a Monday or you're getting a light that's made on a Friday and you're quitting time and all the person wants to do is get out of the factory. So uh, you're going to have a little bit of risk there. Also, some due diligence to see if the light even fits on your gun would help too because these come in different size profiles. Like this one won't go on my Taurus G3C, but it'll work fine on this. So you just want to make sure you, you, you pick the right one that'll work for you so do your due diligence do a little bit of research on there and whatnot so yeah you can use them and there's nothing wrong with it just again i know i've already said it multiple times in this video just do your research and make sure it works for you before you put it into that self-defense type role um i guess i can't really talk too much more about it just again uh if you have any questions or if you have comments about your experiences with this stuff feel free to put it in the comment section below and that's good or bad um i've had kind of both with this this entry level tier type stuff some of the stuff works really great and i'm thinking wow i got a sight or a light for 20 bucks or whatever that actually works seems to work good and i've gotten stuff that just breaks instantly and i'm just like wow that was a waste of money i should have gotten mcdonald's with it instead so uh, that's just kind of the thing. Just post your comments down there below. Make sure people, so that way people can read them and, and learn from your stuff as well. So anyway, enough yammering out of me. If you like these lights, feel free to 
Um, feel free to check it out. And it's funny, the Amazon, the the budget accessory section in Amazon, it's kind of like, um, it's one of those things that, that gun guys and gals probably don't admit to looking at. But I look at it sometimes and I almost feel dirty looking at it. Like, I know I shouldn't be messing with this Made in China stuff. But I, I look at some of this stuff and I'm like, you know what? I almost just want to buy it or have it sent to me just so I can mess around with it. If anything, to make cool videos on it or something. But I find myself doing that sometimes. And I'm sure some of you watching has done it as well. So <laughs> let us know in the comment section. And you know the whole spiel. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. All right. Thanks a lot for watching. And stay safe and sane.